Uh, my name is Dr. Mohamed Yassin. I am the Senior Advisor for Tuberculosis at the Global Fund. Because uh, uh, of COVID, uh, the resources allocated for tuberculosis, drug-resistant TB shifted to uh, COVID response, including the labs and the staff and the other health facilities. The other reason is uh, lockdown and other restrictions means that uh, uh, people will not be able to access, uh, to go to health facility to get testing and to collect their medicines. Uh, the risk of uh, uh, fewer people diagnosed and treated for drug resistant means actually the pool of people with uh, drug resistant TB would increase. That means transmission would increase. More people would die of uh, drug resistant TB. Only one third of the uh, people with drug resistant TB access treatment. Now would that add uh, to, the, uh, to the pool and increase uh, propagate transmission? It's already costly to really diagnose and treat uh, MDR or drug resistant TB now. Uh, but not acting now would actually be more expensive in the future. As, as the COVID continues, uh, um, responding to drug resistant TB would also be intensified and should continue. But business as usual is not going to work anymore. So that's why we need to innovate and we need to scale up people-centered community-based intervention so that improve access. And we also incorporate innovations where the, uh, the treatment would uh, be um, shorter and the diagnostic would also be point of care diagnostic where people can access. Uh, and also we need to continue innovating, including on prevention, including on data and uh, digital data, real-time reporting as well.